If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking the best, most feared, or at least part three 90 overalls to choose. As you guys do know, Tug of Warlock does introduce another free 90. Some of the solos will, of course, have a release three only end cap player available. So, important that i rank each and every release because if i make a bulk rankings right it won't help you guys for release three only also guys a quick note a lot of you guys may ask right you may have some packs that give you all of the options right put that string back down you may have some packs to give you all the options now you guys may be wondering if i do all these rankings like how do you combine them right because my first player in release three my first player in release two my first player in release three may not be the like may not be the best ones to take right so i may actually think that the second best player in release one is better than the release one two and three's best players right because release one could have been a banger right and release two and three could be subpar let's just say right so you may be wondering how to do it what i would do is guys i would take all my rankings watch them all take the rankings together and kind of hear what i say about them and kind of compare it to your own team so let's say the rank release one two and three was a wide receiver running back quarterback and you may say those are the best three players but your team needs a wide receiver take that guy right look at them like that in a sense if you need to combine them all uh you know and check out your team a little bit do some consensus rankings for yourself but it's getting to release three if you guys need to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course comment down below who you think the best guy from release three is but let's head on over to it guys let's go check these out now i want to preface this by saying my 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 play again there's only like eight players right or eight or seven players and honestly not all of them are that great there's really usually only one or two that i really really like so here's the thing my pick five i'm putting it in there because i'm ranking them out of five but it doesn't necessarily mean that i think they are the best ones like that I, you they should take them right now i'm going to preface this with my release five guy well my my release three fifth overall guy i'm going to preface this by saying this i don't think you should take this guy but i think there is a scenario in which he could be taken which is why he's on this list so my pit, rank five on this list is going to be josh jacobs now josh jacobs is not good he is not great. I do not recommend taking him. Now, here's the scenario, right? You're going to hear my players one, two, three, and four. Let's say you're a God Squad. And this is mainly for God Squads who would probably take Josh Jacobs, and I'll explain why. Let's say you're a God Squad and you absolutely cannot start any of these players, but you have a free player. Josh Jacobs fills one specific need. He is a power back with 91 trucking, with decent strength, with some good break tackle, with 219 pounds. Like, Let's just say you're a God Squad and you have done those take take a backup running back, right? Take a third string running back in case he gets someone gets tired. You could throw Jacobs in there. He has a 90 speed, so he's usable. And of course, powered up and everything, 91 speed. Not horrible. You can put him at fullback. Like there are some scenarios where you could take him. Now, again, the top four players are gonna be for teams that are more budgety, are more no money spent. But let's say you're a God Squad, and none of these guys at all will start for you. Always take the position of depth or take like alignment. And I'll get into that in a second. But Josh Jacobs, again, I don't recommend that any, like if you're in a money spent or a budget squad, I don't think Josh Jacobs is the guy. But remember, Raider Steam Team is one of the best Steam Teams, if, well, the best Steam Team in the game right now. So if you're a Raider Steam Team, Josh Jacobs is a Raider, right? So there are scenarios where I could see him being usable, as well as if you're doing a 50 out of 50 just off bench players and trying to like make a half Raider Steam Team. There are scenarios where he could be really, really fast as a power back. And of course, like I said, full back slash half back running back. I mean, sorry, backup running back. So I can see scenarios where he is useful. That is specifically why he's on this list over some other guys where I don't think there's any use for them at all. Number four is Jordan Poyer. Now, I don't think he's that great either. Again, I don't really like my fifth and fourth players, but out of the guys that dropped, he is the better of the safeties of Logan Ryan. So if you power him up, of course, he'll be a 90 speed, 91 excel safety. That is decent enough to be used. He's six feet tall. He gets a 90 zone, right? So a 90 zone threshold with a 90 pursuit with a 90 speed, with an 85 hit power powered up, makes him a pretty usable safety. Now, I don't think he's meta. I don't think he's top five in the game. I don't think he's God Squad-esque. But if you're no money spent, I could see a scenario where Jordan Poirier could start for you. If you want to put him in the box, I could see a scenario where he's a decent box safety with decent hit power. I see some scenarios where he could be used again, which is what you're kind of dealing with at the picks five and four here. Now, these top three are the guys that I actually recommend like taking. These are the guys that I would go for. Ryan Jensen's going to be my number three player. Now, Ryan Jensen fills one specific need and that's it he's a center people hate buying linemen they hate buying centers right because like when you're on the line right what do you notice you notice your left tackle like secure protector you notice your left tackle right stopping guys like lawrence taylor you notice your right tackle in the run game you notice your guards centers like that one position where you typically never notice because center fills two jobs typically in real life they're very important you know they're, they're, they have to get good snaps they have to be aware of the play they're like the quarterback of the line if you ever play football in real life you know that centers are super important in terms of like on the line and calling things out and stuff right and being like the quarterback of the line 
But in, the, in Madden, when you really watch a playback, you notice that you never notice them make the big blocks. They're typically they double down. Like if there's four rushing linemen, the tackles get the outside guys, the guards get the inside, and the center will double to the left or right. He'll slide either way to protect. So you never really notice them. So that's why it kind of sucks to purchase centers because they're truly one of the positions where you may not notice Madden wise. But He's a pretty good run blocker. He's a decent pass blocker, which I really just care about run blocking because, again, he's going to, on pass blocks, he's typically going to be in a double team. So it's not the end of the world. I care more about the run blocking. He's 319, six foot four. So he's a big guy with 90 awareness. You know, the 90, above 90 awareness is important with 80 excel and 65 speed, which is pretty athletic for a center of that, of that size. 92 lead blocking. And again, I always emphasize this. Similar to Josh Jacobs, right? If you don't like any of these guys, your God Squad or whatever, even God Squads don't have the best O-lines. A lot of people with God Squads still don't want to pay up for o linemen Because like I said, my best example is this. If you want to make a God Squad and match it up all around, o linemen on a God Squad costs about 250 to 300k a piece for the good ones, right? Maybe 350 depending on the LTDs, even 450 So if you want to buy a whole line of, let's say, 300k on average, that would cost you 1.5 million coins, right? 5 times 3 is 15. Times that out by the millions. 15, 1.5 million coins. So here's the thing. You buy a 1.5 million coin line, and then you come out into the game and you still get pass rush and you still get nickel two five a gap blitz and you, all that still happens right so then you go ahead and you sell them and you still notice like either way the line's not that noticeable at times so that's why i like taking a guy like you know 90 overall and people want to get their overall up right that's a big thing on god squads like how high can you get your overall up ryan jens is the kind of guy that you could throw in there at a 90 overall and he'll probably help out your overall without having to actually spend up some coins which is why he's on there now this guy's strictly on here at number two Devin Bush because of his stats I know he's a middle linebacker I know people who don't like buying them but you have to remember guys the, the people who are like meta and play like that with middle linebackers that's not exactly I wouldn't say that's the main percentage of the community they're like off Twitter and YouTube that's what we think but there's a large portion of people who come up from middle school from high school from a long day of college and they just hop on they don't they don't watch YouTube too much they don't they don't play like Madden intensively they still believe that you need middle linebackers they still believe that that's an important position they still just pick up players they don't like to mess around with out of position players they just press Y, best team, right? So those are the kind of guys that could really use a guy like Bush. Also, if you need a certain overall for the camp chance, so like the 88 plus, you need all that stuff, right? You're going to be able to take, go ahead and take Bush and throw him in there and increase your overall because middle linebacker one and two does play a pretty large portion of your overall, right? You, by now, you should probably know that. So again, Devin Bush is pretty good stat-wise. Like stat-wise, he's actually, he's actually really good stat-wise. Powered up and chemmed up, right? Everything. He'll have 90 speed with 91 excel for free that's really good at linebacker with 77 strength which is a little low but not bad but you have 89 tackle 89 play rec 81 block show which is decent 91 hit power which is a really good hit power could definitely force some fumbles 88 zone he's pretty good he's pretty good nonetheless he gets 91 jumping at linebacker which is really good again will he jump probably not but the point is that he's going to be usable stat wise and for a lot of people who like again you have to understand that the people people using 90 overall players aren't going to be the guys it's not God squads, right? That's that's what people always misinterpret. They're like, how would I ever start Bush or this guy over this other guy? Well, that guy's an LTD, and God squads who can, who afford LTDs and afford top tier promo players, they don't even they don't even care about these free 90s. They'll do them just because and just to have them there or use them for training or or whatever it is. But people actually caring about this video and picking the best 90 overall actually have to go ahead and budget. And those are the guys that can find value in these guys, which is why my number one player again, Everson Griffin. And here's the important thing with Everson Griffin. People are going to say the same thing. Oh, but you know, there's another end with that speed or there's like, like Lawrence Taylor with the better speed and better everything. Yes, but those guys cost coins. This is free. Everson Griffin, honestly, might be the best chance most people have at getting a fat, like a, this is probably the budget squads and no money spent best chance at getting a budget free, like a free player with that speed and pass rushing combo, right? He gets 88 speed, 89 Excel powered up, which is like elite speed right now for a budget team. Like that's what you're looking for. Right? You're looking for the fast guys on a no money spent budget squad. Not to mention, he gets a 90 power move threshold, so he'll be a pretty elite pass rusher off the edge, especially in, in a game where guys like Daniel Jones, Zach Wilson, even without escape artists, they can still take off. Now we have the Vicks in the game. We have Lamar Jackson's. You know, it's only going to get faster from here. You got you need guys to contain, because here's the thing. Even with the super fast guy, quarterbacks with escape artists can still kind of run around the contain. So the beauty of that is they will release off the contain. They'll run around them, but a good end. So when the quarterback runs around you, right, like this, and the end's chasing, the end could follow him to the sideline, right? Follow him to the sideline and at least meet him to stop it from becoming a massive play or force him out of bounds or force him into a bad throw because when you're going to get caught, you're like, oh, let me just throw the ball instead. And that's when you end up doing those errant, you know, off-the-run throws. You have a guy at the end, like a, a 78 speed end, right, that you got for free. He's going to be like this. And Lamar's going to run right around, you know, not Lamar, um, Michael Vick, whatever, he's going to run right around him. 
and that's when he can cut up field once he cuts up field that's when the defense breaks down that's when you can get an easy first down you could take off and again the speed me again even if he's not the best pass rusher or the best run stuffer let's just say the speed's gonna help on contains on wide formations if you pop him out into a zone or a qb spy there's gonna be some use for him but guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, comment down below. Subscribe, turn on that notification bell. If you need coins to pick up any of these guys because you ran out of free players and you don't have any more and you want to take some of these guys, head on down below to my sponsor and use code Poodle. And comment down below who's your best player you think for release three. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.